What is up beautiful people? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with a faith journaling spread right here in my scripture writing journal. This is where I keep all my scriptures and I write them down every week. And I also keep sermon notes in here and I also do faith journaling spreads as well. So today I am going to be using a beautiful printable from Print Presley and this one is called Modest. And the scripture on here, the main scripture says, but he knows the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. That's from Job 23 and 10. You have the word modest here. You've got some flowers. You've got two beautiful little faith dolls there. And then we've got two more scriptures, Proverb 31 and 10 and 1 Timothy 2 and 9. And then some more script that says beauty for ashes grace and favor. I think the script on here is really, really pretty. I love the flowers, of course, and I also love these dolls. They're really beautiful. So I'm going to be using this today in my scripture writing journal, and I hope that you will join me for this scripture writing um, entry that I'm going to do right now. So this is your first time visiting my channel. Welcome, welcome. I do hope you find some inspiration here and that you will consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the fun right here on this channel. If you're already a part of the fam, welcome back. Now if you want to join me for this faith journaling entry, just stick around. Okay, I have got all my pieces cut out that I'm going to use for this journaling entry. And so let's just get right into it. I'm just gonna choose a blank page that doesn't have anything on it already. And um, I'm gonna start by putting this um, washi tape. This is from um, Capital Chic Designs from their collaboration with Michaels. I'm going to put that across the top. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it is getting ready to start throwing down over here where I live. It's about to be a pretty big thunderstorm. I need to go to the grocery store, so I need to get with it. Okay, so now that I have the washi down, now I am going to add in some of the stickers that come with this kit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So how's everybody been doing? I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in a while. I mean, I know I've been posting videos, but I haven't really inquired about how you're doing lately. So I hope everybody is doing well. How are things going in the state where you live? Are y'all back open fully or are you still gradually opening up? How is that working? I'm curious to know. So okay, I've got my doll here on the side. And now I have, I've got um, the word modest that we're going to put up here. And I really do want to write an official definition for modesty. <clears throat> I need to have a glass of water by me because I can be, my throat can be just fine. <laughs> as soon as I turn on this camera, I feel like I have to start clearing my throat. So I'm going to find an official definition. I mean, I know what my, what I think modest, modesty means in my mind, but I want to write an official definition for it in here. So I'm going to put the word modest here. And I'm going to write a brief definition for it right under there. And then we're going to put in some of our scriptures. And then I think um, 
I may do a little bit more research to see if I can find a few more scriptures on modesty. So we're going to put Proverbs 31 and 10 there. And then we're going to put 1 Timothy 2 and 9 beneath that. And then we've got grace and favor that I want to put under this um, little doll here. And sometimes I feel like modesty is something that's lacking in the world right now. <laughs> I feel like sometimes people think they need to show everything on social media. I, why, I don't know. But people just feel compelled to show every little detail of their lives on social media. And everything is not for public consumption. You know, some things should just remain private between you and your loved ones. So I definitely think that modesty is something that we could use a little bit more of in our world today. You know, I'm all for self-confidence. I really feel like every woman should be confident in who she is by all means. But that, is, that doesn't mean everybody has to see everything that you have. <laughs> You don't have to show everything because you feel confident. Some things, like I said, are not are not for public consumption. But, you know, such is the world that we live in today, where people feel like everything has to be on display. But there's something about a woman who is modest um, that is really beautiful to me. And I think to a lot of men, too, I think to a lot of men, a modest woman, you know, guys might mess around with a girl that is very, um, what's a nice way to put it? <laughs> That's very flashy. How about that? A guy might mess around with a girl that is very flashy and um, is very immodest, you know, showing everything, but... For the most part, when a man is ready to settle down and get married, he wants a woman, you know, the old saying that he can take home to his mother. And so if you can't turn that immodesty off, and there used to be a saying back in the day that I will not say here. <laughs> I'm not going to say it here, but if you're old school, you know what I'm talking about, that you need to be um, able to turn the switch off, you know, to be sexy and alluring to your man in one situation, but then to be a lady when it's time to be a lady. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, just knowing when to turn it on and when to turn it off. And everything is not for everybody's eyes to see. I think some people just don't I, I guess some people just weren't taught about modesty. Um, it wasn't a big deal to some people. They don't understand modesty or they don't care about it. But yeah, I think it's something that we could definitely use some doses of. Good old doses of modesty. I'm not sure if I like that being so balanced right there. But... It's there now, so I think I'm going to leave it. Sometimes I like things to be really balanced on my pages, and sometimes I like for it to be a little bit um, a little bit off. Not quite so matchy-matchy. 
Okay, so I'm going to add these last few flowers on here. And then I am going to turn this camera off and write my scriptures down. Let's see where I want to put these though. Okay, yeah. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to turn my camera off and do a little bit of Bible study on the subject of modesty. And then I'm going to come back and share with you what I have found. So I'll be back. Okay, so I am back and I just want to share with you the definition of the word modest and also the scriptures that were a part of this printable and then one more that I found while doing my research. So the word modest means observing the proprieties of dress and behavior or decent. And like I was saying earlier, I think that we could use a little bit more modest, modesty in our world today with how we dress and how we carry ourselves. And then the first scripture that I have here is Proverbs 31 and 10, and it says, A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her. And there's more to that scripture, but I just ended it right there because it went along with what I was saying earlier about a man, you know, being willing to date a woman that's a little bit more, um, um, what word did I use? Flashy, <laughs> flamboyant. Um, but a woman that he really wants to marry and build a legacy with, most men are more inclined to bring home a lady, a modest, you know, that has some degree of modesty about herself. I'm not saying that she has to be, um, you know, a mouse 24-7, but that she knows how to be classy when it's time to be classy. Okay, and then 1 Timothy 2 and 9 says, I also want the women to dress to dress modestly with decency and propriety, adorning themselves, not with elaborate hairstyles or gold or pearls or expensive clothes. And then for uh, the last scripture, 1 Peter 3, chapter 3, verses 3 through 4, it reads, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great value in God's sight. And then the last scripture is Job 23 and 10, which says, But he knows the way that I take. When he has tried me, I will come forth as gold. So I really enjoyed doing this Bible study. This was really good. And I just want to put a, a little footnote here because I know that a lot of the word, a lot of the Bible is... Um, inspired the Bible is inspired it's also based on culture and tradition of the day so I don't want any women to be offended by this when it says you shouldn't wear elaborate hairstyles or you shouldn't wear gold the point is that should not be where you find your beauty that should not be the only way that you know that you are beautiful is if your hair is done up to the nines and you've got on a arm full of gold bangles and a neck full of gold chains. That should not be the only way that you recognize your beauty. Your beauty should come from within, recognizing that you are a daughter of the Most High God, that he created you in his own image, that you are the apple of his eye that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. All of those things make you beauty. <laughs> make you beauty? All of those things make you beautiful. All of those things make you gorgeous. And you don't need those outward adornments to make you beautiful. And you don't need all those outward adornments to be modest. Quite the opposite. A modest woman has less of those things and more of the inward beauty that shines through. So not to say that you can't wear jewelry because I wear some jewelry myself and I also um, wear my hair cute. You know, when I'm about to go out and go on a date with my husband, but that's not the reason why I think I'm beautiful. I believe I'm beautiful and I believe that you are beautiful because that's the way God designed it. God designed a woman to be beautiful and to exude her beauty from the inside out. Okay. All right. So I enjoyed sharing this uh, 
Bible study with you. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you are not already a part of the Peace of the Plans fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the fun right here on this channel. If you are already a part of the fam, thank you so much for coming back. I know you have lots of things that you can watch here on YouTube and I do appreciate you stopping by my channel and spending some time with me. I hope that you have a great week. I hope that you're doing some Bible study and you can pick up this uh, printable from Print Pray Slay. I will link her shop down below along with my coupon code. So if you want to do a Bible study similar to this one yourself, you can grab this from the Print Pray Slay online shop. And don't forget to use my coupon code for 15% off. Okay, I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great week. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. I'll see you next time.